Good morning, welcome back to my channel. For today's breakfast, I will be making an omelette with a spicy vegan chicken patty, some mashed avocados, and lots of veggies. This is great if you are looking for something healthy, but low in calories and filling. Really hope you guys enjoy. This is definitely one of my favorite breakfasts now. I'm not gonna lie, but taking that dry scoop low key made me feel like I was snorting crack. Like, I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube, but literally, that's how I felt when I took that. But um, that was the first time I ever took a dry scoop, which was really weird. I don't think I'm gonna do it again because that just something about that just made me feel weird anyways guys let's go to the gym all right so moving on to my workout so as some of you guys may know i've recently got a personal trainer and i want to share with you guys some of my tips because i have learned so much within the past three weeks one important part about working out is to make sure that you guys stretch at least five to seven minutes before you work out. I used to never stretch and doing this now has made a huge difference. So honestly, it just makes your muscles more flexible and it's just good for your muscles. These are some of the stretches that I do now before every workout. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. <music> I've recently been getting into squats. I have been adding weight, so I've been working my way up with squats. However, my form is not perfect, and I feel like I have such a long way to go when it comes to the gym. But that's just a little update because I used to never lift weight, so yeah. after working out let me show you guys so wow i know you guys can't see it but i'm sweating a lot because i'm wearing black so one thing i wanted to mention that i've learned from my trainer is he says when any workout that you're doing like let's say you're doing squats or whatever workout you're doing upper body use your core meaning that you have to flex like let's say you're doing a squat make sure you flex while you're doing it because that's that's gonna make your abs pop out and that's how you get them to pop out more so i don't know that's what he told me and i definitely think it works because every time i engage in my core i've noticed like after my workout i start getting like my abs to show more um, I have definitely a long way to go. I am not perfect when it comes to the gym, but yeah, you guys, I'm freaking tired. I look crazy. I will catch up with you guys when I make my lunch, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I just want to apologize for the background noise. It is a little noisy outside. Anyways, you guys, so one of the things I have been doing to keep myself back on track is staying hydrated. So as you guys just saw that giant pink 
water bottle it is not just any type of water bottle it is a hydro jug water bottle which now brings me in today's sponsorship which is hydro jug it legit has been helping me drink more water i'm not kidding you guys sometimes i forget to take water with me to the gym drinking water is so important for your workout that will actually give you more energy to work out and it'll help you last longer in the gym and i've noticed that ever since i've been bringing this thing with me you can add in about half a gallon of water that means you don't have to constantly refill it i can barely finish this in one day because it's just so much water so it is super convenient for that reason it comes with a straw which is great because that makes it funner for me to drink in you can easily just drink it from the bottle or you can just drink it from the straw it comes in so many colors i personally got the pink because as you guys know pink is my favorite color they also have these sleeves you can actually put some things in this little pocket also another thing they have this string attached where you can just carry it around or you can carry it around like that what's actually really cool about the sleeve is that it actually protects your water bottle so for example if you put in cold water the sleeve will help it make it stay cold which will last you a really long time that is a bonus i highly recommend that you guys check them out if you guys want to check them out be sure to use my discount code lady picasso and you will get a free straw with your bottle it's just really important that you guys stay hydrated and thank you hydro drug for sponsoring today's video okay you guys whatever you were doing you need to stop right now and you need to go to the store and get you that vegan chicken patty and that dressing that i'm about to show you guys which i got from whole foods market but i'm pretty sure you can get it from other stores you guys this dish is entirely vegan however you wouldn't even think it's vegan because the products literally taste like regular meat except this is a lot more healthier so yeah you guys this is definitely one of my favorite dishes and i really hope you guys try this out and enjoy okay if you guys are probably wondering what am i doing on my channel what is this what is this? what is this all about so i decided to come up with a series called pillow talk and basically in every single vlog and not all vlogs but in some of my vlogs i will be having a little segment where i'm going to be giving you guys advice that you have questions on on pretty much anything literally let me tell you something i am 24 i just turned 24 years old i have been through a lot i have been through so many mistakes i have been through so many lessons i have learned so much i have just been through a lot so consider me as like your sister as your friend your big sister your little sister whatever you would like me to be for you so i am gonna have a glass of wine i'm gonna have some rosé um kind of matches the theme here hopefully this can be useful and helpful for you guys so we will see we will see how this goes um, i love the sound of that and you guys by the way you guys i don't drink like that so i don't want anyone thinking like i'm out here just drinking a bunch of rosé but for aesthetics of this video i will be having a rosé and let's talk all right so the first topic that i will be talking about in pillow talk it's about confidence now my take on confidence and how i am a confident person in order to be a confident person you must accept the things that you don't love about yourself and things that you can't control about yourself, control about in certain situations and learn to embrace yourself. Because I have mentioned this in my video that I am hard of hearing. I've been deaf since I was born and um, I'm the only person in my family who's deaf. That is something that was an insecurity of mine because I didn't really know, I didn't really know any deaf people. I did not know much about deaf culture. I grew up in a area where with all hearing people, all my family members were um, hearing. And um, I think having to wear hearing aids, all those things made me very insecure as a kid. And I think for a long time, I didn't know how to accept myself. And I'm sorry for my regular viewers because I always talk about it, but that's pretty much how I had to learn to be a confident person. My point here, what I wanted to share with you guys is learn to embrace yourself. If it's something that you cannot control about yourself, 
you must accept those things about yourself this whole self-love journey this whole journey of like feeling your best blah 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 one thing i will say realistically there's gonna be days where you feel bad about yourself and that's completely normal i think everybody goes through it i go through it what i do think it's important is that you put in effort into yourself as in terms of taking care of your mental health like getting myself to work out getting myself to start eating healthier getting myself to put myself out there on youtube and start doing stuff on social media and that's why i'm going to talk about this because it has so much to do with other stuff related to confidence. Doing these little things really helped me to build my confidence because it helped me a lot with just feeling good about myself on the inside. For example, writing, I'm not kidding you guys, every morning when I get up, I have a notepad on my desk and the night before, like when I go to sleep, I always write myself like little affirmation. I will put like a planner of what I'm doing for the next day. And then under my planner, I will write down like affirmations. I will say like, I can do it. Um, you are amazing. You you can be productive and you can do this. You can edit this video and finish it and upload it. You can like whatever. I write down affirmations and those doing that actually helps me and helps me become more confident because I am saying positive things in my head, I'm appreciating myself, I'm cherishing myself, I'm saying good things to myself. I feel like if you're constantly in a headspace and you're constantly in a mindset where you're just beating yourself up, you're just gonna feel bad about yourself. And that's why for me, I try to not be hard on myself. The second thing is do not wait for yourself to become that person that you wanna become. Whatever, whether it's you trying to get a promotion, whether you're trying to lose weight, whether whatever it is, do, please do not do that because that is a mistake that I made when I was younger and I have held myself back so 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 much because of that mentality it has blocked me from so many things that i could have done don't do that don't wait till summer to love yourself don't wait till this time when you get this promotion when you become this person when you get this type of money like do not wait for that for you to be confident and happy start being happy with yourself now look at yourself in the mirror when you wake up and be happy be proud and cherish who you are right now be proud of that girl or man whoever whatever gender you are be happy of who you are because it will really help you make things more enjoyable the key is that you don't give up you don't stop believing in yourself end of the day nobody got me like i got me it doesn't matter whether your mom tells you how great you are, it doesn't matter what whether what your friends say. I mean, it does matter. But what I'm trying to say, they're not going to be the one at the end of the day who's going to hold your hand and make you work on yourself, make you go after that thing, pursue something, um, make a change in yourself, whatever it is. They're not going to be the ones to be able to do that. It's you and it's all in here with yourself and how you decide to treat yourself. And that's why it's dumb. And pointless to be negative to yourself because if you really think about it it's like what's the point when you really can be a positive person and you really can treat yourself with love and respect you can look at yourself and feel great about yourself and just remember everybody has their own insecurities everybody has their own challenges nobody is perfect nobody has perfect problems for example before I even started YouTube I there was barely nobody commenting about my speech and then ever since I got on YouTube I have seen comments on like certain videos I have seen comments where people make fun of my speech make fun of my lips and I'm just like that is an insecurity that I never had you know I never cared about the way that I talk and then there was people out there like making fun of me for it at first like it was making me feel bad because I'm like you know that's not something that I can entirely change about myself and I'm like no I don't care the hell with those people making fun of me like I'm happy with who I am and I don't expect myself to be a Barbie doll and to be perfect don't worry about what other people think don't worry about if you're gonna look stupid doing something you probably will because I look stupid I put myself out there in certain situation certain relationship work whatever and i made myself look stupid you know what it's okay everybody makes themselves look stupid everybody messes up we all do dumb things we all go for stuff we all make mistakes 
and we all do it because it's part of being a human and it's part of life treating yourself with more love and kindness that is really the way for you to go and put yourself out there and just understand like you are human you are enough you are able and you're capable of doing anything that you want and yeah so i'm going to go ahead and close off this video i'm definitely going to be making a lot more segments like this so if you have any questions if you have any topics that you guys would like me to go over um be sure to leave them in the comments or dm me um, i hope you guys like the segment let me know what you guys think of the segment if you guys liked it whatever your feedback is let me know because it is greatly appreciated and i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my rosé thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!